Aries. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Aries. Love Tarot reading. Aries love reading. And as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aries love messages reading. Aries, I'm channeling for you in real time, August 2023. And of course, you could be here in real time, but you could also be here many months, even years later. And the reason for that is all my readings here at the Tarot Closet are timeless readings. That means you are here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. There is a message here for you. And I'm really glad you found your way here. And we're going to get right into your reading. But before we do, I just want to let you know that all the decks that are coming through today are listed down in the description. You'll also, well, you'll find a lot of things down there, but probably most, um, the most interesting to you are the playlists. All zodiac signs, messages from your person, all zodiac sign, love readings. So all signs, love tarot readings as well. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long and very in-depth twin flame readings. So feel free to explore everything down there in the description if you are inspired to do so. Please remember this is a general reading, so take what is for you and let the rest go. We're going to get into your reading now, but before we do, I would like to take this time to invite you to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not watching, liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel really helps keep the channel moving. So thank you so much, Aries, for your support. I really do appreciate it. Let's see what is going on with you and your person. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the four of cups in the upright. It's the three of pentacles. It's the Judgment card, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, it's actually here, the Six of Pentacles in the upright, the Nine of Cups, the Devil card. Look at this. Hierophant, the Two of Cups, the Tower card. So what happened in this connection? Because we can see that there's a lack of communication here. It's the Three of Pentacles in reverse. It's connecting here to the Tower card, interestingly enough. Also connecting here to the Wish Fulfillment card. Here to the Two of Cups. Here to the Page of Wands. This is also yours. So somebody has been really stuck in communicating really strong energy here, but we also see that that is changing. Your very first, this is also wanting to be yours. Look, it's the Knight of Cups here, right with the Knight of Swords. Very first placement is the Four of Cups in the upright. That is the Moon and Cancer energy. And it's your person coming in here. We're going to look at some more. We're also going to look at the Nine of Wands showing itself in reverse. We're going to be getting some more from here, so we're probably going to be keeping this. We'll see if it's going to be bottoms up or not, and I'll be bringing in some more decks. By the way, this is where your person's energy is the strongest. Your specific someone, the person you're here for today, maybe it's even somebody coming into your mind, but you see that Page of Wands energy. So somebody is looking at that energy. That's the energy of love. It's the idea of love. It's leading with the heart. It's page energy. Now this is coming in with something. It's also a message and it is kind of an apprentice energy. So it's somebody who's not really sure. Why? Because look what is right below it. It's the devil card in reverse. And it's funny, but every time I, every time I see the devil card in reverse, I think, boy, that is, that is the name of a band. So if you're a musician, let me know. <laughs> if you use that. In any case, it's in reverse. So that's telling us that this is what they want to come in here with. Look, you can see that there is still love here. You're still in each other's energy. And this is a decision. We see them moving forward, reaching for cups. So they're reaching, they're coming here for some emotions, of course. It's twin flame energy. Also soulmate energy coming through. 
and this is the love between you, but it's also them coming in with some type of proposal. We see that their foot is back. So did they vote with their feet previously? I think so. Are they voting with their feet now? Yeah, we can see they're thinking about it. And it's going over everything that happened here. That is the devil in reverse. Because what happened in this connection? They're having a huge wake up energy. It's the judgment card. You're both here. That's also Pluto energy. So that's regenerative energy. And this is making a decision. This is a wake up call toward what they want. Did something go on in their life to kind of jolt them awake? Maybe we're seeing the tower card here. So it's it's also telling us that there may have been, of course, a tower moment in between the two of you because we see you're not connected. And we see that they're still in the stuck energy, but this is very much a spinner for me because you can see it. The higher font, the major arcana connecting right here with your person. Also, by the way, connecting with the nine of wands in reverse, which is ending, ending them being away, I want to say. So is this ending no contact? No communication and or in separation. Yeah, something here. The Hierophant, divine masculine energy. Of course, this is Taurus energy. This is a card of commitment. It can be marriage. It's a slow moving energy. It's long term energy. But we also see that there that there's healing that is necessary here. It's really very clear. It's connected to the devil card in reverse. So that is what is coming in here. It is the healing energy and somebody making a choice. And I do feel that this is what you have been waiting for. This is the wish fulfillment energy. And it's coming right below the judgment card. And that is the wake up call. That's making this decision. And that's also bringing in the balance, bringing in the duality, the dark to the light, making a wrong into a right here because we see that they have a foot step back here but we also see that they're reaching forward somebody's looking down literally at that hand look wearing the victory wreath we see the healing going on we see a decision are they reaching for a hand maybe because this can be marriage proposal energy and is that your wish whatever the case is you can see the marriage energy here the possible proposal, the wish fulfillment, somebody who's waking up in this judgment energy, realizing that they, well, yeah, what is their, what do they want? What do you want here, Aries person? Because look what is here. Again, we're going back here over to the Four of Cups, your very first card coming down. This is the Moon and Cancer energy, and this is coming in. What are they offering here in this cup? We see that there is still love here and we see the wish fulfillment. Are they wanting to make that the Ten of Cups? Maybe. But we also see, look, looking right down here, there's an apathetic energy of not really being sure. Kind of like, yeah, well, I'll believe it when I see it energy. I've been waiting for this amount of time. Whatever the case is, you can see. It's looking right down here at the Three of Cups, which of course comes before the Four of Cups. That's the Mercury and the Cancer energy. Are they empty? Are they full? I think they might be empty. And that's part of the part of the issues here. That's Mercury energy. It's the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication. Now, oftentimes this can bring in reunion energy, it can bring in celebratory energy, including around friends and family, communication. But there's an apathy looking down at them, and I think they might be empty. So that's telling us really what we already know, that there is a lack of communication. And we also see that in the Eight of Swords, that your person is, is putting themselves here in this Eight of Swords energy. And that's Gemini energy, and it's Jupiter at, and Gemini energy. And Jupiter is not... Jupiter is the ruling planet for Pisces and Sagittarius is what I wanted to tell you. But this is the Gemini energy and this is holding themselves back from, well, yeah, getting up here to the castle, to the journey of love in all this emotional energy, but not wanting to deal with it, not wanting to communicate. So now we know that this is spinning and then eventually they're coming in. It's the minor arcana energy. It's the day to day energy. They're coming in here with the communication. You're not really sure what you want to do you also see that look it's connecting here directly also with the knight of swords the knight of cups connecting here so there's the cup there's the cup 
There's the Knight of Cups. So the Knight coming in also making that the Ten of Cups. Is this somebody coming in asking for your hand in marriage, Aries? Maybe. But it's not going to be for everyone because the proposal is also a new beginning. And it can be let's meet. Let's talk. What is that? But we see it coming in here quite literally. It's wish fulfillment. So what have you been waiting for? Is it a message? Have you been waiting for them to go another level? Because something I feel, here's the thing, it can be, of course, that you had a tower moment. This is somebody who I feel is having a tower moment. You can see it. It's connected, right, to the judgment energy. And this is something that has changed for them, that has jolted them quite literally. And the other thing is, yeah, did you have a tower moment? Possibly, because that's also the Pluto energy coming through here, and that's the regenerative energy, which is what comes after everything has happened and getting some clarity and making a decision, because this lightning bolt is, well, it's causing fire, destruction, upheaval, change. And that fire, of course, is sweeping through. And what happens? What does Mother Nature do? It regenerates. It's the Pluto energy. It's the ground comes back even more fertile than before, I want to say, for new beginnings. So that's what is coming through here. Is this a totally new start? We see in the page energy. Maybe they're not really sure how to go about it because the devil is in reverse. So they're aware of the influence that what has been, what has gone on in this connection. Is somebody having, well, yeah, it, it does, but it doesn't always bring in addiction energy, but it can be the case. Whatever the case is here, this is what's coming through. You can see it. This is ending the no contact, no communication, and or in separation. Because look what also is here in the partnership placement. It's the six of pentacles in the upright, and that is the moon and Taurus energy. This is the reciprocity. This is the giving back and forth. And look, here's the other thing. Was somebody lying? Because this is the other thing. They need to be honest. And this is also telling us that in order to move forward, if that is what you're wanting to do, and we're going to talk about the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups here, that honesty is, well, yeah, it has to happen because there's a lack of communication and a lack of honesty here. So is that what they're bringing in? I think so. You also see the scales here. This is not a Libra energy, but that does bring in justice and that does bring in the truth. And we see that here as well. And it really getting to the root of the issues is what is coming through for me here because you see it. What are the issues in the devil card? It's in reverse now. So that's a recovery energy and you can see that in the two of cups. It's making that decision here in the higher font energy and that's the... Well, yeah, that's the connection here. That's the commitment energy. That's the marriage energy. But it's telling us that healing is really necessary, connected directly with the nine, excuse me, with the devil in reverse. And here they come. So is there some conflicting energy in this communication? Well, yeah, you can see it in the Knight of Swords. They're coming in with a lot to say. They're coming in so fast that it's emotionally maybe... I feel like a lot to handle. You can see the horse. It's a particular emotional horse. The horse looks a little bit afraid. They're holding on to the harness and, and coming in here. Look, there's the look on their face. And of course, that armor sort of like, well, yeah, that's the triggering and the mirroring. And it, it can be conflicting energy. Put it this way. There's a lot to say here. They're coming in. They're coming out of this unstuck energy. And coming in here with a lot to say. And then that's the Knight of Cups, of course. That's the Prince, Prince Charming energy. It can be romantic proposals, again. So is that what you're wanting? Because that cup here, you see that decision to come forward and get on this very emotional horse. This can oftentimes have an energy of broken promises. Maybe somebody not coming. I feel like it's spinning because I think that's a big part of the past energy here. So are they coming in here? It, it sure looks like it. You can see it. Maybe it is coming out of nowhere as well. And is that cup coming here in the Nine of Cups? And is that putting us into the Ten of Cups? Aries, were you in the Ten of Cups? What were you working toward it? Was it a plan? Was it on the table? You know, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Building a life together. For some of you, a family, and really a family is going to be different for everybody. Blending families, introducing families. 
Whatever the case may be, this is the decision to get on that horse, which is quite emotional, looks really regal here, a lot less conflicting, doesn't it? But doesn't it, excuse me, but still a little bit scared of their emotions here. And coming in where somebody's been waiting, arms crossed, sitting on the bench, how long have you been there waiting? And are, are you still going to be there? Are you gonna get up and just leave those cups behind? Are you going to be here for that? Because that's judgment. That's Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages. The Herald of Vision saying, wake up, Perry's person. You better make this decision about what you want because I feel like maybe you're getting on that bench and maybe got some other plans here. Because I can see you're a little bit apathetic. This is a conversation that I feel you really need to have. It doesn't feel like it's going to be easy. It might even be a moment that when you're getting to the root of the issues here as the honesty comes through because this is clarity and this is honesty and this is getting this is really being honest and getting to the root of the issues look what they're bringing here they're bringing that clarity and honesty because we see in the three of pentacles in reverse that they have not been honest and clear and how can you build a partnership or even put it on the table for the future if somebody's not communicating or they're not being clear about what, how they feel, what they want, whatever the case may be, because we see here. And for some of you, there might be other people involved. It can be other connections, but it can be family of origin. It can be cultural, religious differences. Somebody in somebody's ear or maybe in their life. And this is, we're going to take this off. Look. Okay, interesting. It's the Six of Wands in the upright. This is Jupiter and Leo energy. This, I feel like this might be a message coming in. There's that horse again. Look, they're still a little bit afraid. But this is telling us that they are moving past their challenges. Also, I got to tell you, for some of you, your person might be younger. It won't be for everybody, but there is a little bit of a mature energy here. It's also connected to the ego. Also feeling some emperor energy because this is overcoming that as well. So are they too late with somebody playing games here? Maybe. But the obstacles within the connection, but also within your person. And it's emotional obstacles for me. It's, it's really, yeah, it's empress in reverse energy as well. It's somebody who's been emotionally, maybe not clear, unavailable. Because they're still a little bit scared here, but they're holding on to this energy of love, and that's the sixth wand. And this is Jupiter and Leo energy, but that's also bringing in that six, which is healing. It's is making, it's restoring harmony. It's, well, yeah, you can see here, it's reunion energy, it's victory energy. It's successful of having overcome these wands. They can quite literally be other people, you can see that. But that's also telling us that it's not necessarily going to be that because that five is also connecting us with the fifth chakra and that's, well, that's the throat chakra. So that's the lack of truth. Are they able to come here and tell you how they feel finally? Are they overcoming their emotional unavailability? Are they coming to tell the truth? Well, yeah, we see that. We see that you're still in each other's energy. There is still love here and there's still, I feel, potential for healing, but it doesn't feel easy. It doesn't feel easy. We can see that. But that giving energy here also doesn't feel easy. You can see like getting two to the judgment energy is there's a tower moment here. And that's getting to the root of everything. But that's the after. That's the Pluto energy. My throat chakra is going nuts right now. So this can be a message coming through. Because it really is coming in with something to say here. The Ten of Pentacles wanting to show itself. That's the long-term energy that's connecting us with Hierophant. This is bringing an Emperor Empress energy for me today, Aries. And, of course, Emperor is Aries energy. Empress is Taurus energy. It's not about that, but it's bringing that energy in. It's the Ten of Pentacles. This is the long-term energy. It's Mercury and Virgo energy. So it's on, it's what I feel is coming in here. It's the new beginning. It's telling us that there is an end of a cycle, there's a completion, and there's a renewal. And we see that. So did you have a tower moment? Could it be maybe that something is 
It's going to be a really hard conversation. Yeah, it can be. You can see that the Knight of Swords is coming in really fast with a lot to say that they want to change things here. Have you been putting out maybe somehow through friends and family, through social media, that you're not, maybe that you have other plans, maybe they're, they're picking something up here, but it's a fast energy. You can see them coming in. This is with a message. And that wish fulfillment energy of what you want it, do you still want it? Well, we see that you're, you're still in each other's energy here. That's bringing that truth in. As, as somebody, I say, somebody, your person balances out their divine feminine and divine masculine energies. We all have them. This is, there is no gender in, in your reading. There never is. So whether you consider yourself a divine masculine or divine feminine, we can see that they maybe they're too late for some of you is what I'm hearing. I don't know if that's going to be for everybody, but I am hearing that. But we are seeing the new start here, and this is a really long-term energy. So it's, well, yeah, it's bringing the truth, which may not be easy. And it's, it's kind of like hashing it all out, I feel, because we see that the devil is in reverse. So that's the past for me of what went on, and that's making the decision to come here and to deal with it and to heal from it and ending the no communication, no contact, and or in separation. We're going to look here. Yeah, that's, what, that's what's happening. Look, I'm putting this here. This is wanting to be the overall energy. So what does that mean? It means whatever's under there. <laughs> it's also yours. So we're going to move it in just a minute. But it's the Seven of Swords in reverse. So this is making peace for what? For leaving the connection, a runner, somebody who was dishonest, for some of you, betrayal. So there may have been a, well, yeah, here's the thing. It can be romantic to a third party. But I want to tell you, you know, even if somebody's choosing your family of origin, you know, if they're choosing something over you that is a betrayal, and that's also connected to dishonesty. We see that. Look, they're kind of looking back as they run off. There's the three swords here. So, of course, that brings in the three of swords, Saturn and Libra energy, the heartbreak, the loss. There's the two of swords, bringing in the decision that they made, leaving behind two swords. You know, it's still just kind of almost like a, a reversal because we see they're coming back here in the seven of swords, and this is making peace. It's Aquarius and Uranus energy. So this for me in particular in, in connection with the devil card when it was in the upright is that energy of that's what happened with your person. So what was that? Was it some infidelity for some of you, addictions, some obsessive energy? Whatever the case is, that devil energy and that seven of swords, I feel, is what went on here and put everything where it is. So they're coming back in here to make peace. Is that all they're making or is there more? It looks a lot like an offer to me. Will you still be there sitting there on that bench? Will there be a moment? Will this conversation lead to somebody walking away? That's something I've never, I don't think I've ever felt that energy before, maybe. Whoa. Whoa. This kind of feels like everybody's energy. It's the Ace of Swords. I almost feel it's almost a feeling like it wants to be there, but the Seven of Swords in reverse already made it clear that that's that's what belongs there. It's the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. So this is the clarity that they're having. We already know that. Look, it's the energy also of the Knight of Swords because look at the sword here. You can't see what's up there. I think that's what's up there because that's what they know here. Look, it's clear. Judgment, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Devil in Reverse. So they know what they need to do. They need to make amends here. Conversation needs to happen, and it's rushed. It's hurried. It's the coming out of nowhere energy, which we also see here. Look, it's the same cloud with the cup. And they kind of like took the sword and, you know, jabbed the victory wreath, the... The reunion wreath here on the sword, that's the transactional energy. That's the clarity in the relationship. So they got the message from Archangel Gabriel here. They got this wake-up energy. They got the message and kind of grabbed it, and they're coming in here. So this is a, boy, my heart feels fluttery. This is a hurried, rushed conversation somehow. It's somebody just coming in and really wanting to reach you. 
That's a huge spinner. This tower moment is, is, I don't know why, it just felt worrying suddenly, but that does bring in some conflicting energy. We see that. So this is a conversation I feel that you've been You've been waiting for more than a conversation, but this is a conversation I feel that's going to be had, and it can be in person. We see that they're coming in. We see that you're not really sure, and I can really feel that even in the Nine of Cups here, the wish fulfillment, because you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. So this is also your clarity. It's vibrating. Look, you can see it shaking here. There's not a lot of high, vast mountains. There are still some here. That's the clarity. Yeah, look. So that's a spinner for me for sure. But we already know the Three of Swords is here. It's really not surprising. That's the Saturn and Libra energy. So that is the, the separation energy, the breakup energy. For some of you, it might be divorce. It's somehow involved in this connection, whether it's the two of you or maybe even somebody else here. You can also see that if you're on a twin flame journey for some of you. It won't be for everybody, okay? But we know the twin flame energy is here. This is not a twin flame reading, but if you are resonating and you are a twin flame, you might want to check out the twin flame readings below. In any case, this is the energy here. It's the heartbreak energy. I'm going to keep this and I'm going to keep going because it's wanting to be in reverse. Now it's the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there is something coming in here, an offer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's really emotional energy. Look, the dove. It's peace and love and literally diving into this baptismal cup here, overflowing it. So for some of you, that is somebody who's coming in to fix a marriage maybe even offer marriage. We can see that in the Knight of Cups, also the Two of Cups here. We see the Wish Fulfillment, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant. But again, marriage proposals, you know, it's, that's a tall order to fill. And, and that's not always going to be the case because a proposal is an energy of what is the proposal? Get together, talk, meet, talk about the future. You've been waiting for this is what I do feel. So it could be that you're going to make them work for it, you know, because there is an apathetic energy there. And there's, you know, this is a happy nine of cups <laughs> sitting here, but I don't feel that waiting on that bench because that is a, that is an energy of, of waiting here. You know, the arms cross the feet, almost kind of like you could just get up and go. I feel that, but you can also see that you're still in each other's energy. There's still heartbreak energy here. But there's still love here too. So what is that proposal? It's the Queen of Swords. Well, you need the truth. It's the truth coming for sure. We see that already. It's the clarity. It's the truth. So that is coming. And what is the truth? You know, is it how they feel? Why they ran? Why they lied? That's what you've been wanting. This is total honesty. It's the Queen of Swords. This is Libra ruled by Venus. The Libra energy, of course, is connected also to the infinity symbol. For some of you, again, that's twin flame energy. It's not for everybody, but that's connected with Libra. And that's also bringing in justice, the truth, the solution through the truth. So this is the truth coming in here, Aries. What is the truth for you? Because you need it. You need it. So if you're going to, if there is an offer here coming in that's more than the truth, this is what you need anyway. It doesn't feel like it's going to be easy to have a this have, have this conversation. But it's really clear that it needs to happen with the devil in reverse and the hierophant because this is telling us that this connection needs healing. Okay, we're going to keep the Queen of Swords here. And we're going to bring in another deck. <laughs> Look what's just wanting to show itself, the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Why did I feel like the Page of Pentacles was here? In any case, that's right before the Ten of Pentacles, of course, and that's the love coming in. This is Virgo, ruled by Mercury as well. That's Mercury, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, which is connected to Virgo, we know. It's the ruling planet but also Gemini. So this is a message here for me coming in. For some of you, it might be leading to an in-person connection or an in-person, I want to say, reunion. 
seeing somebody, but it's more likely for me that it's coming in a message. It can't even be written for some of you. But that's coming in here. There's the journey of love and all the grapes here, which is all about development and new beginnings. It's the fertility energy also coming in with the Pluto after the tower energy, but it's only through the truth. And what I wanted to say is it's kind of like the Queen of Swords. Look at that. Look. The Queen of Swords has... <laughs> It's almost like the Knight of Swords is rogue here. Do you know what I mean? It's this feeling that it might just shock you, like getting a message here that is like, what? And just having a lot to say. So it's also a message for you to step back and take a moment to gather yourself about what, how you feel, what you want, and what you want to say. Because I feel like you've been waiting for a while, but they might take you off guard. I feel like this Knight of Swords has gone rogue. <laughs> Because look, the Queen of Swords is like, you haven't been honest, so you get in there and be honest. So there's an, that energy that they're just, because it's also Archangel Gabriel sending the message really strong. It's why the devil is in reverse. Like, get in there and say what needs to be said. Okay, we're going to bring in another deck. It's in German. It's another Rider weight deck. You know, I'm in the Austrian Alps. It won't matter about the wording because... We're probably going to see some validations, and maybe not. In any case, it's right or wait. So we'll know what it is, and I'll tell you as well. Maybe something is coming through here that changes everything. I felt, <laughs> look, it's the tower card coming in again. This is getting, this is being honest and getting to the root of the issues here. So it, it can be that this conversation is, this is like a, maybe a really hard conversation to have, but it's also time. It's the transactional energy. It's the clarity. It's the three of swords. And again, we know that for some of you that does involve a third party as in a person romantically, but it, again, it can be everything and it can also be your person because we see that here. You know, the lack of clarity, the lack of honesty. What is that connected to? We're going to move things around. And then we're going to channel and see what wants to come in. This is already flipping off. Interesting. Look, it's the Queen of Swords in reverse. So they might be denying some stuff here. Wow. Maybe that's why there's the apathy here because it can't, that's telling us that it's spinning. That's telling us that's more validation of the dishonesty here. Oh, wow. Okay. So we weren't quite ready, but that was ready. <laughs> that wanted to come in. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. The Four of Swords in reverse, look. So that's where you go after the Three of Swords, Jupiter and Libra energy, and it's in reverse. So somebody's getting restless, but you're also a little bit, you're, you're, you're also getting restless. You're both getting restless, but for you, it's sitting on this bench. For your person, it's why we see them on the Knight of Swords and why, look, it's emotionally, it feels overwhelming. The Eight of Pentacles wanting to show itself. The Eight, Nine, and Ten here. So are they working things out to come? Are they working on an offer? Maybe. Look, that's the journey of love back here. The Eight of Pentacles is the sun in Virgo, and that's putting the sun in the upright. And of course, that's the, well, that's, that's the crown chakra as well. That's finding a solution. And we know the crown chakra is connected to the sun energy. That's the outcome. That's the new beginning. That's the new cycle here. Are they working on coming? Yes. What are they working on? Are they making an offer? Yeah. Is it just the truth? Maybe. Is it more highly likely? Will you be there? Only you know that. You have free will. Your person has free will. Everybody has free will. <laughs> Look, now it's in reverse. Look, it's the Knight of Cups. We felt it in reverse. I felt that energy because that's the broken promises. That's the not following through energy. You may be not expecting that, not expecting much, I mean, because that's what was the energy of the past here. That's a spinner, that Knight of Cups. We knew that, and that's a validation of that. It's Der Wagen coming in reverse. That's the Chariot card coming in reverse. So that's the lack of movement. That's just telling us that there's issues coming, and we already know that. This is also yours. 
Interesting. So it's the Eight of Wands in the upright. That's the message. And the Knight of Wands coming here in the upright, here in German. That's the, well, yeah, that's the impulsive energy. It's the fast energy. We have the Knight of Swords here. So we see that. They may have been playing some games and may have had some trouble coming. You can see that. So it's sort of like it's, how long has it been sitting in this position? You know, it's almost like the carousels that you see. So they've been trying to get this message to you. So this conversation, it can be that it eventually happens in person. It could also be that it's not, that it's back and forth in messages. It's the Eight of Wands. It's Mercury and Sagittarius energy. And of course, that's the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. It's a really fast energy. It's the Eight as well, which is a an action, you know, it's the, the energy of movement accomplishing something here. So they might also be having trouble, look, getting this message to you. That's the Cancer energy in the moon, the chariot card. And it's in reverse, which tells us the moon is in reverse, which tells us that they know they need to come with the truth, that there's the truth is coming. We already know that in the judgment card. They're just having trouble. I feel getting this message to you. And I think that's what you've been waiting for and everything that entails because you're also clear here. So you might be getting this wake up call for yourself and saying, yeah, I don't know. Look at this. Yeah, this is where it's wanting to be. It's the message. That's, that's the message you've been waiting for. It's the page of wands now in reverse. <laughs> I tell you. This is a little bit of that immature energy. So again, it can be chronologically that they're younger, but it doesn't mean they are. It's just the behavior here. Maybe that's why you're just not really sure. I want to look under here. Okay, it's the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, this is what you're waiting for. Look, it's matters of the heart. You're looking at the Pentacle. The Queen of Pentacles is a, a, a really strong motherly energy, a guy energy. It's like the apprentice to the empress. And I do feel the empress energy here today. You've been waiting not just for this offer. Look, that pentacle here coming right here into the, making that nine, a 10 coming in here to the 10 of pentacles, but the reunion energy. It is the new beginnings. You see the little rabbit here, but that's also a message from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors to pay attention to matters of the heart. And I know that you are, we can see that. We're still in the year of the rabbit, interestingly enough. We're in the water rabbit, but the water is not so far away. So it's in the up right here. And again, the Queen of Pentacles is really resourceful with new beginnings. She can make things work. And that's what I feel like what you've been waiting for and hoping for. Are they just, are they going to be, I want to say, too late? Look at that. As I said that, it brought in, wasn't the Three of Pentacles here. I feel like it was. I think we might have saw it anyway. Look, are you going to be waiting as I said that? And I'm feeling you getting off that bench. So some of you might be. Some of you might not be is what I, what I want to say. Might not be waiting here because you've just been waiting for so long. It's sort of like I'm sick of waiting here. Is that going to be for everybody? No, because it's also telling us that that's what you've been waiting for and it hasn't been happening. Look how this is coming around it. And it also brought in, why do I feel like there was something else here? Look, it's the Three of Cups. Yeah, that's the Three of Cups here. That's the reunion energy via communication, but can also be in person for sure. It's a celebratory energy here. It's somebody who's you really consider your friend as well. It's a soul connection. And that's the thing. Look, it's the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So it's the lack of communication. You've been waiting for this message. You've been waiting for this message here. Are they going to be fast enough? And are they going to be able to handle it? Because somebody going to hang up on someone or not respond? It feels like it's going to be intense. But I see that you still care about each other. It's really clear that you've been waiting for this to be, for someone to come in here and be really honest with you and communicate. That's the Mars and Capricorn energy here. And again, it's in reverse. It's the lack of communication. Okay, let's bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self Aries. What do you want to say to your Aries? Channeled love messages. Do you miss me the way I miss you? Look here with the Two of Cups. 
the thing is, is I, I do feel this conflicting energy, but I also, part of anger is connected to love. And we can see that there's still love here, but you've just been waiting, you know? What is under here? Why is this showing itself? <laughs> Look, it's the Four of Swords. That's the thing. That's where you've been waiting here. The heartbreak is still really present. And this is the Four of Swords again, was wanting to show itself here in reverse. So that's the... The restless energy, they're just tired of waiting energy, but it's also the ener energy of them coming here. It's, we see it. Don't give up on us. So they're sending that through. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Hmm. Is that coming through in a message? Because look where it wants to be. You have changed me for the better. It's hard to face the truth. Yeah, we can literally see that here. We can see that. You may have seen a message that says unsent or deleted, or maybe there was already one and they're just not responding. You can see that they're struggling with that, but you see that they know it. They're clear. <laughs> Look at the Queen of Swords is looking right at. Look, the Queen of Swords in reverse saying, come on now, this is the struggle right here. That's the spinner that's here. I'm putting it with the Ace of Cups there and the Four of Swords in reverse. I'm hiding my true feelings. Is that some of the clarity that you've been waiting on? For some of you, yeah. Well, they're hiding the truth. We know that. Is that what it is for you? Are you thinking about me? Look, it's right here with the Two of Cups. I'm thinking, of, are you thinking about me? I'm thinking of you. That's all I do all the time. If you're on a Twin Flame journey, these were really strong in the, the Twin Flame reading that was just released. And of course, you could be here in real time, but you could be here much later. I hope you still love me. Is that why they're rushing in here? Our meeting was no accident. I'm still checking up on you. That's the Page of Swords energy. And that's it. Though I need to look at the bottom because that just revealed itself as I was putting it down. Meeting you was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. And I'm forever thankful to the universe for that. So these are the last three messages, Aries. I long for you. We are tethered forever. It's interesting, I was feeling the Empress energy, and we do see the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you maybe even have family together. That won't be for everybody, and that's not just what that's about. It's the soul connection. We see that here in the Three of Cups, right here also. But here it's the celebratory energy, so it's what you've been waiting for. It's the last channeled love message. The moment I saw you, I just knew. Serendipity. Aries, if that is your reading today, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's reading, I would be so grateful if you like the reading. And if you are not subscribed to the Tarot Closet, that you subscribe to the channel, watching readings, liking them, sharing them, subscribing. They really help keep my channel moving. So thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you so much love and light your way. Take good care, and I'll see you at another love reading. Bye, Aries.